Hello, in this video we're going to look at a solution to sum 13, which is a list 2 problem under the Python section of Coding Bat. Before I begin, I want to stress uh, two things. The first thing is that when I looked at a lot of students working through this problem, um, they were actually trying to modify the, the nums list that's passed in. And as a general rule, we want to try to avoid modifying a list if it's passed into a function because it is a reference variable. So unless you have a specific reason to modify that list, you really want to avoid that. Because remember, any changes may be reflected later. Also, I don't think that's the best solution here. Um, modifying the list produces a number of challenges when you're actually trying to move through the list, because when you modify it, that is, remove things from it in this case, it's actually going to change the size, so you end up with a lot of problems in terms of index out of bounds issues. The second point I want to make with this is um, the algorithm here is actually that you implement is built off of a really basic one, which is you're adding all elements inside of a list. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm going to actually write a solution to this, which isn't correct at all. But this problem is is really if we take the list that's passed in and we find the sum, it, it's really a summation issue. And then what we do is we have to add some modified conditions. So, for example, I declared, oh, pardon me, I'm going to declare a sum, zero, and I'm going to set up a loop. And if I just say sum is equal to sum plus nums at i, that's going to increment through the entire list um, and add all the elements up. And then I can return sum. Now, if I hit go, obviously this is all wrong because the question isn't finding the sum. It's, it's finding a sum, but we're ignoring the number 13 and any number that follows a 13 in the list. So one way to approach this is what you can do is you can move through and find the sum of the list, but what you're going to do is before you add the element to the sum, you're going to check the condition. Um, you're going to check a condition. And I've kind of broken it up into four steps here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare and initialize the sum. So this is our variable that's going to hold our actual summation. Um, whereas when calculating the sum, we just immediately start a loop and work through it, we actually have to worry about a situation here. And that is if when we're looking at the first element. Because what we're going to do when we take the sum is we're going to look in an element. And before we add it to the sum, we're going to check two things. We're going to check to make sure that this element isn't 13. And we're going to check to make sure that the element preceding it isn't 13. Because only if these two conditions are true do we add it to the sum. So I'm going to skip step one here. I'm just going to jump into step two. And I'm going to loop through. So I'm going to say 4i in range. And I'm going to say 0, comma, len bracket nums, comma, 1. And I'm going to say if nums of i is not equal to 13, so basically saying if the element I'm looking at is not 13, and nums at i minus 1 is not equal to 13, and that is the element preceding it is not 13, only then do I do say is sum is equal to sums plus, sum plus nums at i. Um, there we go. And of course, at the end, I have to return the sum, so let's put a return sum here. And I give this a whirl. And it doesn't work in every situation. So, so the question is, what's happening here? Well, what's happening here is that you see here this first element, because our loop is starting at 0, this first situation, it's not 13. But when I try and inspect the element in front of it, um, it can't inspect it. So this, this does not evaluate to true, meaning we don't add that. And you'll notice that this is off by 1. It's missing the first element when I look at that test case. So what we can do to get around this is one way is we're going to actually start our 4i our in range at index 1. So that means when I'm actually doing the summation, I'm going to start here because that means I can inspect this element and inspect the element in front of it. But the problem is that I don't consider the first element. So what I need to do before I enter that loop is I need to take a look at the very first element. So I'm going to say if nums at 0 is not equal to 13, sum is equal to nums at 0. So basically say, just look at the first element by itself, and if it's not 13, put that in the sum. And now I get this error. 
And this is a really important error to be aware of. What this error is saying is index out of range. One of the things about when you're running the Python encoding bat is that if you have a single case that ends up with an index out of bounds error, that is trying to access an index that doesn't exist, none of the test cases show. And you'll notice that the problem occurred when I wrote that line right here. What the problem is, is that because if we have an empty list, this is an index out of bounds. There's no nums at zero if the list is empty. So what we have to put here is we have to say if nums at, if the length of nums is greater than zero and nums at i. So we have to actually do this inspection of the length before we actually try and access the element. Because if this inspection fails, it's not going to execute this line, which is what causes the index out of bounds. And there we go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, good luck.